Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Good Monday morning, 19 minutes before the hour. About 80 firefighters in Arizona are battling a new wildfire north of Flagstaff. The pipeline fire began yesterday morning just west of Schultz Pass. Authorities in Coco Nino County say campers and hikers near the pass should evacuate the area immediately. The pipeline fire quickly grew to 1,000 acres. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. Well, it's all part of those dry conditions that they have been experiencing in the Southwest. Uh, we spent the weekend just exactly the opposite. Now our skies are starting to break up just a little bit. In fact, this started a couple of hours ago. On my way in this morning, I saw mixed showers south of Lava Butte, and uh, there were a few scattered rain showers elsewhere. Now we're under mostly clear skies, calm winds at the Bend Airport, and it's 41 degrees there at the Redmond Airport this morning, also 41 degrees. They have picked up a, a little breeze out of the west-southwest. Well, the northwest is experiencing a little break now from a lot of the storm activity. Eastern Washington and the panhandle of Idaho still getting soaked this morning. Uh, in fact, they're looking at some uh, hydrological wa watches and warnings that are in place through there because of those heavy rains. We saw a little bit of that over the weekend. In fact, some areas are still looking at rising creeks and streams, and that's mainly because the runoff from the hills doesn't end as soon as the storm does. It carries on for just a little bit, so be careful with that this morning. The one thing that we are facing is a little bit of a breeze out of the northwest, and while we're not expecting any more of the showers, in fact, we'll get some more sunshine, uh, we're going to stay a bit on the chilly side. That northwesterly and westerly flow is going to keep us pretty cold here for the next couple of days. By Wednesday, we'll start to warm nicely, but until then, uh, we're going to look at some chilly conditions. It's cool just about everywhere around the state, and despite the fact that our both of our airports now are at 41 degrees, there are areas that are down in the mid-30s, so uh, it's a chilly morning. Even when we do warm today, it's not going to get much above what you saw yesterday. We hit the mid to upper 50s yesterday. Uh, we're going to compound that with more wind today. We're already starting to see this shift and become a little more westerly and northwesterly. It hasn't picked up much just yet, but we are going to see gusts in the area, in some areas that is, around 30 to 35 miles per hour. So it'll feel colder today than it actually is. Uh, scattered through the 50s for most, we'll see a couple of spots that'll break 60 degrees. So overall, we stand the potential to be about 20 degrees colder than average, and it'll be even chillier tonight. Most of us will be scattered through the 30s with some dropping below freezing. Uh, be careful with those sensitive plants and animals that are out already. Chilly and breezy for the next couple of days. Real nice on Wednesday. We'll be in the low to mid-70s Thursday. Thursday night, the clouds thicken. We see a chance of showers usher in, and that chance of showers will stay with us right through the coming weekend.